Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from the Intellic Getting Started series. In this video we'll look at the different parts of the Intellic interface. At the top left we see the menu bar. The menu allows the user to configure Intellic's preferences, add data to sources and to perform other tasks. We'll take a closer look at these options in another video. The search panel is a place where the user can enter keywords and phrases to be searched. If searching for two or more words in a phrase, this phrase needs to be enclosed in double quotes. The question mark shown at the top right of the search panel opens the keyword search quick reference. The quick reference provides information regarding syntax for the various types of searches Intelli can perform. The results pane shows graphical representation of the results of your search. Also shown in the results pane are the cluster map controls and the search totals box. The cluster map controls changes the way the display is shown and the search total box shows the number of items that have been respondent to your search. Below the results pane is a details pane. The details pane shows the metadata for each item that has been respondent to the search query. A large number of metadata columns can be shown or hidden depending on the user's preferences by using the toggle table columns button. Facets represent specific item properties. Every facet organises the items into groups depending on specific item properties and the properties are shown in the facets value pane. For example, the value for the type facet are grouped into different types of files which are present in the dataset. Join review, an item can be opened by double clicking on the item in the details pane or by right clicking on the item and selecting preview from the list of options. The preview window shows the item in a number of formats. The contents tab shows the text which has been extracted from the item. The preview tab shows the item with its formatting intact. The properties tab shows information such as the creator and who made changes to the item. Also the created and modified dates and other useful information. The Previewer window has a number of reviewer controls to assist the user with their review. The item can be produced in a number of different formats by using these controls. The user can move to the next document and go back to the previous document by using the next and previous buttons. The item can be tagged or bookmarked by clicking on the tag icon. The user can also tag the item automatically by clicking on one of the recently used tags shown here. There are several other useful controls which can be used during review. These will be covered in another video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. More videos can be viewed at the link shown on your screen.